I see a lot of comments on loads of coding videos complaining about things going wrong and this and that. And, and I can't help but feel like they are so dependent on the AI doing all of the work for them. Claude Code sub-agents, which I haven't used yet, but I'm particularly excited about. And these are basically pre-configured AI personalities that you can delegate tasks to inside of Claude Code. And each agent has a specific expertise area, it uses its own context window, it's separate from the kind of main conversation. You can give it access to specific tools or not if you don't want to. You can configure it as well to be in the project or as your user. So you might have one that you constantly run as a user, but then also ones that are very specific to a project and you can chain sub agents together as well. So now your AI agent has its own assistance. So if you are not failing enough, your AI has enough agents to fail uh, double or triple. Yeah. I actually disagree. I think this will improve stuff. Yeah. I, I, Saying it like jokingly, I, I think this is pretty cool, especially if they can check each other's work. Well, it says it's independent of the main conversation, so maybe. This is some example sub-agents. So you've got a code review, so you can set up a code review agent to kind of just go off and do code reviews. You've got a debugger agent. Um, well, they've got a data scientist one here. And you can run all of these agents off as a, I, I guess, a consequence of the thing that you've just done. So it always makes sure it does an accessibility scan. Or um, the most interesting thing is that you can, obviously, if you've got something like Playwright, you can feed the design sub-agent, you can feed in the image of the, of the page. It can spin all that up. And to do all that just with, again, as a side effect of just one prompt is really cool. They talk about like the best practices that they, you start building with Claude. So basically you run uh, slash agents, and then you tell it what it wants to do. So that's just a quick way to basically create the files, which by the way, they're all markdown files. So once it's created the file, the folder structure, you can kind of go in then and then start adding a bunch of other stuff here. So yeah, design focus, some agents create uh, sub agents with single clear responsibilities rather than trying to make one sub agent do everything. So they're really trying to isolate your, your individual sub agents. Um, to one specific task, write detailed prompts, including instructions, examples, and constraints, the normal kind of stuff you would probably give uh, an AI for context and things like that. Limit tool access, which I really like that you can limit the tool access. Again, you could say the design sub, uh, sub agent only has access to Playwright and only has access to uh, Magic UI or something like that. And yeah, check project sub agents in version control so you can uh, collaborate and stuff like that. Here we go. Here's the chaining of sub agents as well as it talks about. So it's a really cool addition to to Claude. And I'm just, I just think it's getting better and better. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't have it yet because that's fundamentally how we will go on about LNMs. LNMs, as we've seen with like fine tuning everything, we can even fine tune a very small model to be better than large models at specific tasks. We have literally LNMs fine tuned on specific libraries, list specific tools. And I think the next step here actually is to even have LLM spin up like duplicate the uh, directory and have each LLM work on a different feature and merge it again with like merge requests and have them mm -hmm. uh, work isolatedly. So I think this is the intermediate step we reached now to where we truly have like huge uh, uh, swarms of LLM agents working on multiple features concurrently and pushing them out quickly. We've had variants of this. I think I've seen hacks that people have managed to get Claude code to spin up its own sub agents and whatever, like people have hacked it to be able to do that. But we've also got things like um, Codex by OpenAI or Jules by Google, or I think GitHub's got one where they spin up agents in their own VM, especially as um, LLMs get cheaper, faster, and all the rest of it, that we can start to see what you're talking about, which is having dedicated LLMs that are just kick ass at copywriting or, or something like that. There, there, there is like a minor hit on performance, obviously, without with anything, you, you start to like, you know, hit performance limits, especially as you're churning through those GPUs. And saying that as well, there's been some pricing updates to Claude, where they are setting weekly limits. Again, just people are hammering their servers. Now, I watched a video today, which kind of like made me feel a little bit better, but it, it, it was just a small channel, but he made a video on why you why you don't need Claude Max. And 
it, the long and short of it is is less is more is, is a thing. I'll, I'll, I'll link it below. I have the pro plan. I don't pay the $100. I don't pay the $200. I pay the $17 a month. Granted, I don't code every single day. Like I'm not, I'm not using it that much. So there is that aspect. But also, I understand the co I'm not reliant totally on Claude code to write absolutely anything. And in fact, sometimes the plan, I'll ask it to plan and I will implement the plan. And I see a lot of comments on loads of coding videos complaining about, you know, uh, things going wrong and this and that. And, and I can't help but feel like they are so dependent on the code, uh, on the AI doing all of the work for them. And they're churning through their weekly limit in like no time at all. And it's like, it's because you're, it's because the, these tools are a crutch to you. You're not learning anything and you're probably writing really inefficient prompts as well. But all that to be said, I'm chilling through uh, the lowest tier plan of of Claude and loving it. Like I really like Claude. It's my favorite model to, to use for coding. This is part of a larger conversation on my show, Command AI, which we stream live every single week. We discuss the news and all things related to AI in the world of design and web. Catch us next week and join in the banter.